To we, I'll paint the quarter deck with his dream. Que Deus o guarde e proteja, Senhor. Como se encontra nesta noite tão formosa? Bem, bem, obrigado. Só um pequeno passeio entre nós, que eles estão todos bem. Boa tarde. Já estou em ordem, Senhor. Estamos apenas à espera que o nosso navio Almirante seja reabastecido antes de desafiar. Ah! Os navios mercantes da nossa frota necessitam de um novo mastro. Há homens em terra neste momento em busca de uma arte que sirva de tal propósito. Então, quanto custa, geral? Compõem a maior parte da nossa frota, senhor. Dos nossos 42 navios, diria que mais de dois terços são embarcações mercantis. Ah, o que eu vou Sim, senhor, exatamente. Daí as nossas precauções. Com tantos piratas nestas águas, esta frota necessita de bastante proteção. Não é uma tarefa leve guardar quase três dúzias de navios. Imagino que não. Peço perdão, senhor, mas não estou a conhecer o seu navio. Nem sequer transporta a bandeira do rei. Oh, que horror. Como por isso foi retirado um pano da sua vez, ao ficar de dentro. Ainda não vi. Foi um prazer falar consigo, jovem. Entregue os meus cumprimentos ao seu capitão. Certo, senhor. Ele, de momento, está a dormir. Vai lamentar não ter tido a oportunidade para falar consigo! Deus nos abençoe! Got the flag. Aye, and we're flying it now. This should do nicely. My distance, slow and steady. Aye, the flag we stole won't protect us from eyes that pry too long. Por favor, senhor, implore que considere o que está prestes a fazer. Now it was evil. What's he whinging about? He's not whinging. He's a static. Up ahead! They're unloading something from that ship! Could that be our prize? Perhaps you should go ashore right with me. They'll not come near that unless they catch them.
dizer sobre um espanhol que veio visitar o nosso almirante. Cá para mim, era uma traição. Sim, ouvi dizer que se chamava Dolores. Our treasure must be aboard that galley. Why don't you take the ship itself and save us a bit of time? Aye, right, that's the way I'd play it. I can bring the jackdaw close up, but those lookouts will be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. Ele! 
Está a fazer o turno esta noite? Ou foste tu ontem? Perdeu. Estou a perder a conta aos dias. been spotted. Took them long enough. To court us all, man the cannons. Every last hand. On your command, Captain. Let's hear the roar of this beast. All sail! All sail!
my prize. Ah, the Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. Come on! 
us off the way. Let's catch some wind, lads. Can you feel it, Addy? We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. <laughs> Captain, think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold. Come to kill us out there. I Traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty that you would deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget working with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. Ah. We'll have a hard fight if Hornigold draws us any deeper into this form. We're nearing the Devil's Backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of a beast? Aye. El Espinazo del Diablo, the Spaniards call it. Brief in, all top! Party now, Mitrum! All sail! She'll take it! Come on, you slugs! Man those sheets! Incoming fire! Incoming shit! Down, down, down! Look, 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 I'm pregnant! And there's the English! That's the long shit, Cap!
I will be coming back. this bastard and I see what he can oh. you could have been a man who stood for something but you've a killer's heart now with nothing but metal to show for all your blunders I'm sorry, better than you Ben the heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mate I and proven true what have you done since Nassau fell, huh? Nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated! No! 
These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. She blows a hump like a snow hill. Thank you. 
Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. The men native to this land will put up a fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary, huh? To kill if needed.
This way. Research!
the observatory. All this. I'd almost take that place. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this game. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember, but it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. It's like something out of a fairy tale, or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rules and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials? Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evil. Here we are. that noise oh yes a security measure just a moment there we are so what is this place think of it as a large spyglass such as we sailors carry a device capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No, 
This is Mr. Jack Rack. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Hey! That! That's my last you're making love to! You lay off, or I has ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Glad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes. Indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. For such ambition. <laughs> there is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done! You're a dead man, Robert!
Jackdaws flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the Medazolum. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action. And... Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when the hacker is found. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think... We need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance! Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now, so when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. Ah, oh, these Templars. They run our lives, you know. Hey, I, 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 hey, you know you're supposed to be locked up, right? Going back upstairs ain't a good plan. All right. 
Blacklist. I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Myself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts on her. Coffee's on me, okay? All right. I ditched her at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network log. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, We'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out.
the dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? Cipher. Feel, but hardly touch. The signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused, like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes, the nervous system of the world. And here. Perhaps the temple was open too soon, but this was not by choice. The Cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. We bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on. To fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! Be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? Charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastard, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. 
But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. I'm back to the prisons at sundown. <laughs> and massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Jesus. A shit detail as ever was. Hey! Quiet! Open this gibbet! Oi! Oi! Water! You stop that! Morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. Ah. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. <laughs> 